Angiomas are vascular malformations. They usually described as small red, pink or purple bumps on skin. They usually are eroded and have bump appearance, but sometimes they can be flat. They affect 20% of general population and more than 20% of general population. It means angiomas are pretty common disease and it affects 75% of uh, population aged 75 years or more. It means risk of angiomas increase with age. Most common locations of angiomas are face, uh, neck and trunk but they can occur uh, in any part of the body including internal organs for example in brain or uh, eye or liver or different organs uh, causes is not known there is no single cause which can cause angiomas uh, it is thought that it's genetic and hormonal imbalance also uh, ultraviolet radiation has uh, its role uh, in genetics VHL gene is separated which is responsible on angiomas mechanism of action uh, angiogenic factors are increased for example endothelial growth factor is increased and anti uh, angiogenic factors are decreased that's the idea so imbalance of angiogenic factors and anti-angiogenic factors that's the idea and it uh, causes overgrowth of blood vessels and we get uh, angioma how we diagnose angioma um, usually with clinical appearance uh, red bumps they are well-defined borders and golden, golden standard of diagnosis is biopsy but um, uh, biopsy not always is needed uh, there are several types of angiomas most common type of angioma is cherry angioma it is uh, often occurs on trunk arms legs uh, and uh, risk of cherry angioma increase with age cherry angioma usually is benign and has no any major risk spider angioma uh, it's um, it looks like uh, cherry angioma uh, it has center but it has also spider legs uh, the, and uh, because of this spider appearance it's called spider angioma it commonly occur on face and neck and it's very common among pregnant and persons who have liver disease uh, but any person can have also spider angioma so it's not limited with uh, pregnant and liver damaged persons another type of angioma is senile angioma senile angioma most commonly occurs among adult population and it's multiple red bumps uh, on neck hands face uh, and uh, sometimes trunk trunk uh, so that's senile angioma. Senile angioma also common among uh, old population. Other types of angioma is cutaneous angiomatosis, cerebral angioma, cavernous hemangioma, and hemangiomas. Cavernous hemangiomas uh, usually occur in internal organs and they uh, grow slowly over years. Uh, and sometimes they make some problems in internal or organs uh, and hemangiomas uh, commonly occur among uh, newborns and they uh, they can grow fast at uh, at first and then uh, they uh, slow down growing or totally disappear over time now what's treatment uh, first line of treatment uh, of an angiomas is laser treatment. Uh, laser treatment is safe and effective way and it has more than 90% uh, of effectiveness. So uh, it's really uh, first line treatment in any means. Uh, second line treatment is sclerotherapy. Sclerotherapy is um, injections 
uh, also mTOR inhibitors for example serolimus uh, is also effective second line treatment and third line treatment is surgery surgery um, in uh, sur surgery is reserved uh, in special cases most commonly laser therapy is enough uh, and uh, what uh, differential diagnosis we should make with basal cell carcinoma, melanoma, uh, and uh, what is supplements which, is, which are used. Um, supplement usage is not well studied and the effectiveness is under question mark, but ginkgo biloba and grape seed extract are used as a supplement to reduce angioma size, but the effectiveness is under question mark, as I told you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for your interest. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.